Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of Tears of the Kingdom. In our last video, we were on the hunt for the fifth sage. We were told to find all the lightning armor uh, along the river and then to go to the end of the river and offer a Zonai charge at the altar down there. So we have one piece of the armor already. Um, we're looking for the other two today and then we're gonna offer that Zonai charge and see what happens. Looks like this is going to be our next opening for a piece of armor. I guess we got to bomb this open and smash it. So if I'm right, this chest should have another piece of the armor we're looking for in it. All right, we got the pants and we got the shirt. So we just need... I don't know if it's going to be a helmet or mask or whatever, but we got to find that next. <laughs> Won't stop raining here, so it's hard to climb anything. this next armor piece. It looks like it's here on our left. Okay, I guess we're going to have to burn these open. Where are those? There we go. Firefruit. This should be the last piece of the armor set, and then we can head to the end of the river and offer a Zonai charge at the altar. Those were kind of the clues we were given to solve this puzzle. Charged headdress. All right, now we're in full armor set. So if we don't have the whole armor on and we offer the zone I charge, I don't think it'll properly solve the puzzle. Would be nice if the rain would stop, but I don't think that's going to be an option. I think it's just like scripted to continue to rain here. There's nothing really down at the end of here for us to fast travel to, so kind of got to go the rest of the way on foot. All right, this looks like it's going to be the end of the river, so now I just got to figure out where this altar is going to be. Oh, that looks like another another opening, just like the last three. So this should be where we need to go. I'm excited to see where this takes us. I'm hoping there's still at least another temple. The first four were a lot of fun anyway. Okay, where are our Zonai charges? This should end the puzzle as soon as we put this down.
Callip, did you see that? Lightning struck the dragon pillar, too. Huh? Is someone in those ruins? <clears throat> oh, it's you again. We think a terrible lightning strike hit here, but I'm huh. glad to see you're okay. I've never seen lightning strike like that, and even stranger, the dragon statue's eyes seem to glow just before it. Link, if you know anything about this... <laughs> unbelievable. A mechanism in the ancient ruins that got rid of the thunder clouds and revealed mm. some new sky islands. Great catch. Another amazing discovery on the books. In <laughs> fact, I'd say it's the Hall of the Century. Mm. It's a significant discovery, to be sure. I'd like to go investigate further, but we have no way of getting up uh. there. Hmm, you're right. That doesn't make it any less exciting, though. We need to report this to Pura at oh. once. Callop, I'm going back to Kakariko Village. I want to write up recent events around the floating ring ruin in a report for Pura. You should stick around here to conduct a thorough investigation, find out if there's any more discoveries <coughs> to be made. What? Well, remain here, you mean alone? Uh. Yes, even if we can't get up to the sky, there's much to discover down here. It's our duty to unravel all of it. You can do this, Caleb. Ah. He wants me to investigate alone. Field work isn't my strongest suit. But this may be my chance to make a historic discovery. Hey. Right, leave this to me, Toro. I'll begin at once. I'll need to head back to our base of operations for a bit first. Seems like Toro should have stayed here and sent Caleb back to write the report, but that's just me. Anyway, we're heading up there. It seems like the tower is probably going to be the best way to shoot up there. Because it seems like this island's even further away than the tower. All right, let's get up there and hope we can uh, make it over to those newly discovered islands. It's going to be a bit of a long flight. I wonder if we can pull out a glider and get on it. Uh-oh. I should have waited till we had a Tulin's Gust ready to go. Well, that's not going to be helpful. I'm hoping I have enough stamina to make it up there. Worst comes to worst, I think we can drop to that lower island and maybe elevate up. I like that the glider is flying along beside me just to harass me for not climbing on it. But it seems like we can make it there without it. So I kind of just wasted a glider. Just have to uh, take off all the uh, metal equipment or we're going to get electrocuted here. Seems that lightning's going to be an issue. Seems strange since we're done the lightning temple already. It's so weird that we're heading back into a lightning area. Oh, the rain's going to be a problem with climbing up here. Okay, we're going to have to drop down and try and get up with elevation. Of course, our glider landed perfectly on the island with us. Can't believe that happened. Okay, this looks like where it wants us to travel up through. Since we can't climb, it seems like we're going to have to use elevation to uh, travel up between islands here. And it seems like lightning's going to be a big problem up here. I really haven't brought any non-metal weapons or shields with me because I wasn't really expecting it. We'll have to see if we can find anything helpful along the way. Ok, 
Okay, I guess we're just going to have to start making our way there and we'll figure things out as we go here. I think if we get below this island, we can use elevation again to get above it. Yeah, that seems to be the way up. In this area, the way up is down a lot of times. Alright, so we're just going to travel between islands until we get to the very end of this uh, chain, I guess. So used to just like getting to the right place, flying and climbing, but I have to remember I can't climb anything here. Okay, so that activates that thing. Is that going to shoot us in the right direction? Huh, only one way to find out, I guess. We'll wait for the next lightning strike to come. Alright, it's going to be just a lot of us doing this, I guess. Go to the next island, elevate up, fly between them. Trying to make sure I'm not going to get struck by lightning here. Okay, I'm hoping this shoots us up there. Should almost be at the end of this. Bunch of shock emitters, which seems appropriate for where we are. I'm hoping that wasn't all that was up here, because this is kind of the end of the chain of islands. Okay, this seems important. Jump. Uh, I worked pretty hard getting up this high and over here. I don't know if that's a good idea, but seems to be pointing us in that direction, so... I think I have to jump. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything else first. Okay, there's not much up here, so I think we do have to jump from that platform. Seems weird, because it directed us all the way up here to begin with. Just to have us jump back down to the surface. I wonder if something's going to happen when we get down there. Now, where was that platform we're supposed to jump off of? Ah, there we go. All right, let's give this a try and hope for the best. Kind of just aiming for that green lit up area below us. Dragon Head Island. I think we want to go in here. Seems like we found a shrine anyway. <laughs> I 
I hope this shrine isn't the only thing in here. Otherwise, I'm kind of at a loss as to where to go next. Okay, it's just one of those blessing shrines. Since we worked so hard to find it, it's just going to give us the uh, blessing at the end and let us out of here. The diamond's nice, though. We can always sell that for more rupees. Alright, we're almost at another... I think I'm going to do stamina next time. We're starting to have a lot of hearts, and I think it's time to start working on our stamina meter again. So next time I defeat a shrine, I'll probably take that option. Would be nice to have a full second wheel of stamina anyway. Before I really start building a second row of hearts. We're starting to not get killed so often, especially since we can just cook and eat so many healing items. Anyway, I gotta make my way out of here somehow and figure out where we're going. This door seems promising. Can I use Ultra Hand to open it? No. Uh, can I walk right up and press A? Yes, I can. Oh. Just as I was saying I have enough hearts, I, I'm starting to hope I do have enough hearts. This could be bad. Come on, open the door before we die. All right. Okay, well, this looks like the sage's mask. Zelda's chosen protector. Take this. Follow the light. All right, well, that makes our path clear. Trying to get down there while holding this could be annoying. Ah, if we can attach it to a glider, we can fly down there. Uh, just give me a minute while I build an entire gliding device. There we go. Steering wheel, some fans, and the mask attached to the front. Hopefully I don't have any trouble flying this down there. For once I'm trying to lose altitude with this thing. Usually I'm trying to keep this thing in the sky, but not today. I'm assuming I need to bring the mask with me, so... I can't just jump off of the thing and paraglide down there. Otherwise, I'd be taking that option for sure. Still kind of getting used to the controls of these things. 
All right, let's just fall out of the sky. Good enough. I think we're here. That just triggered on its own. All right, I guess we're continuing to follow the light. This has been awesome so far. I have been having so much fun with this game. Tobio's Hollow Chasm. That kind of means nothing to us at the moment. Do I just have to put this down? Where is this taking us? Well, I guess into a hollow chasm. Link. Zelda's chosen protector. You must hurry. We must meet as soon as possible. Well, we're going as fast as the platform will take us. All right, looks like we're in the depths. Really hope we don't have to carry this thing through an entire temple or something like that. Construct factory. Is this where all the zoni get built? Uh, kind of looks like the mask fits in up there. I'm wondering if I can use like ultra hand to put it up there. I don't think I can throw it. Nope. Had to try though, right? Uh, do I have that wrong? Oh, that hurt. That mask is heavier than it looks. I think we gotta spin that the other way around. Just didn't quite fit in right the way we had it. That should do it. Link, Zelda's chosen protector.
My name is Minoru. I am the Sage of Spirit. I am happy you have arrived. At last we can speak with each other. Unfortunately, I no longer have a body. Without a physical form, we cannot yet speak face to face. But, do you see the four storehouses in the area? I do now that you're lighting them up. I didn't before now. I would ask you to visit each of them and assemble a body for me. This is my request to you, Link. Loyal swordsman to Zelda. All right, well, I think we're going to cut it off here because it seems like it's going to be a long process to visit all these storehouses. So I hope you'll come back and watch us build a sage next time in Tears of the Kingdom. Thanks for watching our video today, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.